trying to look forward now to Iowa State, and that's uh, that's a big time challenge uh, for us. And you hate that they uh, lost a youngster. I remember two or three years ago, I went to uh, watch a high school workout, and uh, Nerlens Noel was there. And I asked, I said, "Who is that guy right there?" I said, "Cause I love him." And they told me he had already committed to Iowa State, and that was George Nyang. And uh, I just think he's a great, great player, and you hate that for the kid. Coach Smith used to always say he hated to play somebody when they just lost one of their frontline players because everybody banded together even more and were more motivated and all that kind of thing. So uh, I hate it for that reason too, but I hate it even more for the youngster because I've watched him play three or four times this year, and he appears to be really the kind of kid I would love to coach. They're a really talented team. You know, they have a bunch of guys that score in double figures. Obviously, he's one of their, you know, heart and souls. You know, he does so many things well for them. Uh, that's going to be tough. Uh, but I think they're going to, you know, use that as motivation. They'll probably come together as a team, and they'll definitely be ready to play. Uh, so we understand that there's no letdown on either side. We still got to c- come out and try to impose our will, uh, use our size to our advantage. And, you know, like he said, Iowa State's still going to play North Carolina. So we got to try to, you know, find matchups that are going to best prepare us to win. Coach always talks about we're a running team, so I mean, just playing against another running team might force us to run even more and be able to get more transition passes, get more fast break points than they do. And, I mean, it's going to be a shootout when we have to run with them and then we just have to be able to stop them and not allow them to get as many points as us. Yeah, we're not, we still haven't played anywhere close to the pace that I want us to play. I mean, Iowa State's playing the way I want to play. I mean, their pace is, uh, is really good. And five guys run, I mean, I don't know what we're averaging. We're averaging 70 something a game. I mean, I had a team that averaged 92 a game one time. And, and we didn't shoot a thousand threes or anything like that. So we're not playing at the pace that I would like for us to, but we're getting, we're still working. We played at a better pace last night. We got more fast break opportunities last night than we had gotten the last couple of games. But uh, Iowa State's pace of all five guys running is really going to be a challenge for us. Our transition defense is going to be a big key for us in the game. You know, we've had a great tradition, and we've won a lot of games in the tournament. We've won championships and everything. So I don't know if it's a responsibility to, to win no matter what because there's so many great teams in the tournament. But there is a, a responsibility to carry on the tradition, and the easiest way to do that is by winning, uh, especially the games that you're the higher seed. So, uh, you know, we felt a little bit of pressure to get it done, and we wanted to be able to try to challenge uh, and make a run in the tournament. And that starts with being the good Providence team that had just beat, uh, won the Big East tournament. So. There's a little bit of pressure, you know, wearing the Carolina blue, but, you know, you have to respond, and and that's why you chose to come to the school in the first place.